The following contains strong language, nudity and scenes of a sexual nature. What a beautiful view. Okay, I should have taken my mum somewhere a bit more exotic, but at the end of the day, we're still spending time together and that's all that matters. What is it like to be a mum? It's a lovely, fulfilling experience. I'm excited to be a mum one day. It's getting on now, mum. I'm nearly 30. You had me when you were 24. Things happen for a reason and we've just got to just get on with things, haven't we? I've always wanted to have kids, but after my ectopic pregnancy, it just seems to have gotten further and further away. I have spoken about it with Josh, to be honest. Does Josh want children? Josh wants children too, but he's just a bit too young. And it's nothing that I would rush into. I would want to know that he was the right person. Committed. And you're making up your mum. I couldn't ask for a better mum. If one day I'm half the mum mine is, I will be so happy. I'm ready, let's do this. What are we doing in this hotel on Charlotte Street with Charlotte Crosby? It's all about me, isn't it? Looking forward to the show. I do get a little bit nervous because I'm like scared in case nobody watches it. Are well, you going to watch it? I'm going to, oh, obviously. One viewer, <laughs> Great yes. Start. And then I'll watch it, so that's two. two. So does the ex appear as well? We started filming shortly after everything happens. Do you ever speak to Bear? No. No. We don't converse. So love life, got to talk to you about that, otherwise I'll get sacked. You're happy? I am so happy. I am extremely happy. But may I just add, I don't have a boyfriend. He isn't my boyfriend. Would you say you guys are in love? <laughs> so it's a, it's very tricky yeah. to know if the love is there yet or not. Okay. There's something yes. holding you back. No, no, nothing's holding us back. I'm, I'm, I want to be official. So believe me, I have asked many times to be official. So how long has he got before he has to tell you? <laughs> I'm going to give him one more week. <laughs> it's not very long. But I can't wait much longer. It's been four months, for God's sake. I've told him, I said, it's been so long. He's like, it hasn't been that long. Four months isn't that long. I was like, eh, what if Josh is a commitment form? What if he doesn't want to be my boyfriend? What if he never says he loves us? What if we don't get married? What if we never have a house and have three dogs? What if we don't have the twins? It's been a full on press day for this show but I've also got a very important meeting with the team from the Ectopic Pregnancy Trust, which I'm a patron for. I met Alex and Manira shortly after the Ectopic Pregnancy. It was so nice to be able to speak to people who had had the same experience, and I felt like I wanted to really spread awareness about Ectopic Pregnancies. When I had our Ectopic Pregnancy, mm -hmm. I felt like I was the only person in the world who'd, who'd been through this. You're left at the end of surgery, having lost a baby, um, gone for emergency surgery that you weren't expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having your facility affected and then worrying about the future. And, and then you have the emotion as well, because the hardest but bit... I'm I getting emotional people, just thinking about it. Because it, 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 it just brings off. you back to that time when you just feel lost. Like, you feel empty. Like, I like think everything's just being taken away from you. So that is the hardest part about it, I think. Hearing other people's experiences brings back so many memories that come flooding in and it, and it just fills us full of emotion. The walk and the new thing that you're doing, I think I want to do it. It's covering um, either a thousand kilometres or a thousand miles. That's a lot of miles. But it's over a year. Oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> you can do it with your mum. See, so you can do it the quickest. I win. Ooh, that's <laughs> Hello. Hi, Mum. Hi, my little pumpkin. Mum, listen, I've got, we've, we've been set to a challenge. We're going to raise money by doing mm -hmm. a thousand miles walking. A thousand? It'll take forever. How long have you got to complete that? Yeah. <laughs> we can complete it in the year. We're doing it. There's no time limit. I'm going to outrun oh, all of you humans. Oh, for God's sake. What are you eating anyway? Pea and ham soup. Oh, I'm on my diet. Right, okay. I'm so skinny with the challenge and the pea and ham soup. <laughs> Right, I'm going now, Mum! Bye, I love you, bye! Bye, bye, bye! bye. 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 So <laughs> much more to do that! Thank you so much for coming back. Oh my God, no, it's the blue. I'm just so worried my mum's funnier than it's Like, she's just being so funny all the time. I'm starting to get down about it. I would as well, because she's so much more funnier than you. Oh, fuck, I don't really think anyone's that bothered about you anymore.